a quick little anecdote about songwriting. I never thought, this next one we're gonna do, I never thought that I would write a song like this, where I, I kind of, I, 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 in, TMI, but I, I get a little uncomfortable when I get over emotional in life with like, people that are close to me, so I tend to like hide it by being all goofy and musical and stuff because it's like a way for me to just not, it's a way for me to be emotional without being like what I perceive as corny or something. But there was a day in April where I just felt like I needed to get so much out into a song, and it, you never know how these songs are going to come about. Like if you're on a bullet train in Japan, if you're uh, your house, whatever. Um, I never thought I would sing about uh, the, the lyrical content that is in this next one we're about to do, but I guess this, if I were to describe it, I'm very bad at describing what my songs are about, it would be about uh, no matter what you're going through in life, there's always something humorous about it. It could be, it could be the, the most gut wrenching hard to deal with thing ever, at the end of the day, at 7 o'clock, you might find something funny about it, and maybe it's um, me being overly masochistic, but um, there is a reason why there's beautiful pianos in this, in this record when you hear it, and it is track one on the new record, but you have the ugly and the beautiful mixed together, which is what I guess I was going through in life at the time, so trying to mimic that sonically with that, uh, that parallel in life is that's not the It's a long-winded explanation of how this song came about. Um, and it's called That's Hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. 